to the sliding glass door. My name is Mario Acuna and uh, I am the knight of the sliding glass door. And today I'm going to take you to an interesting place in Mexico City, which is the house that once belonged to the conquistador Hernán Cortés. And uh, well, it is located in downtown Mexico City, next to the Zócalo, which was the, the main plaza in Mexico City when the at the time of the Aztecs and uh, all the pyramids and uh, Aztec palaces were located there and uh, well after Hernán Cortés conquered this part of Mexico they destroyed all the pyramids and all the palaces that belonged to the Aztecs and they built a new structure uh, with Spanish uh, architecture and uh, and they divided all the land there that belonged to the Aztecs. They divided it between all the soldiers that came with Hernan Cortes. And well, they built his house after they had conquered the Aztecs. And so Hernan Cortes didn't live there because he continued on his uh, military crusade uh, to to other parts of Mexico so uh, he gave that house to his cousin and but the house was designed for him has his emblems military emblems and uh, well and if you can see on the images uh, the facade has on the rooftop they have a uh, water sprouts shaped like cannons which symbolizes uh, that someone from the military lives in that house and um, another interesting fact about about the house is that on the corner uh, they placed one of the serpent heads that uh, symbolizes the religion of the Aztecs and they placed it on, on the on the corner, the bottom corner of the house, symbolizing that Hernán Cortés defeated the the Aztecs. And uh, As I mentioned before, the house is located near the Zócalo, which is the main plaza in downtown Mexico City. And that's the place where originally the Aztecs arrived to Mexico City with a prophecy that said that they had to find a place where there was an eagle eating a snake on top of a cactus. and well, they found it in the middle of the lake, which was the Lake Texcoco. So they had to figure out a way to build in the middle of the lake. And, um, and that's where they, they built the city. And, uh, well, and 
then the, the Spanish built their palaces there and uh, you can see on the halls of those palaces uh, the, the coat of arms of Hernán Cortés, of Christopher Columbus, of Mexico City and of uh, Emperor, the, the Holy Roman Emperor is uh, Charles V and um, well, the house is just three three blocks away from there. Another interesting fact about the house is the interior, which if you can see in the, the images, um, it's a very large house and uh, it has an internal open area, a patio, and, and if you see in the images there's, there's like a wooden wall, that's a black wooden wall that's blocking part of the, view, of the view and that part is where they 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 have two lines on a staircase which were designed by the Spanish architects that came with their narco test but since the handcraft workers were Mexican and they didn't know lines at the time because they come from Africa then, uh, well, the, the Spanish architect had to explain to them and then they had to imagine it. So it's a kind of weird lion. And, well, it, that's why they're blocking that because you kind of have to pay the museum admission to, to view that part. But just like there's the interior patio there's another one on the back, so the house is pretty, pretty large, and um, and well, it wasn't uh, Hernán Cortés didn't live in that house because he kept on, on his military campaigns, but he gave that house to his cousin, and in um, part of that museum uh, shows that that the artwork that that cousin had. So I hope you enjoyed the video, I think it's a very interesting place and uh, thank you for watching.